are the top of this little output from the water pump. There's a little rubber thing there that a tube fits in. And when you're putting it back together, there's an O-ring that goes on the top of there. I'm not sure how critical it is. I don't really believe it's that critical, but it keeps the, you're gonna grease the top of this shaft before you slide it up into the motor. So where the, the, the drive shaft meets up at the crankshaft of the engine, you're gonna grease these splines. And this little O-ring right here just hopefully keeps water and exhaust and just a third out of there. So what I will do is I'll grease it pretty heavily and then I'll slide this O-ring up. And when I put it on, the crankshaft will push that O-ring just as far as it needs to be pushed. Anyway. Okay, folks, so I decided to fill it up with gear oil before I put it on the bottom of the outboard because it's level, it's in my vise, it's easily accessible. And if I didn't do it now, I would have to somehow prop the outboard up against the wall or something. Hope it doesn't fall over. Anyway, uh, now it's the right time to do it. So I'll show you is how to put the uh, shaft back together. So there's the output shaft for the propeller. And uh, I greased it. And here's the prop. And then the prop has a hole like that and the, the hub, prop hub right there. It's got a hole and uh, there's actually a washer that goes right here so i'm just going to slide the that's a shear pin and uh, that shear pin goes in that hole i showed you in the uh, hub and then it just slides down through the prop shaft and now and this is a cap it just goes on to cover it just goes on the end of that prop shaft just pushes on some of them thread on i've seen other motors where they thread on this one just goes on and, and that's it. And you want to take note where this hole is in the propeller shaft because you're gonna stick a uh, uh, pin through it. So uh, I'm going to look at that, that pin, that hole is at like nine o'clock and three o'clock. And I'm gonna make the cap hole at nine o'clock and three o'clock. Okay, so after I straighten that pin out with some pliers, fits in the hole clear to the other side I want that pin in there as far as it'll go and you can take pliers and flare this out on either side okay so we're gonna get ready for the last little leg of this journey uh, I've took I took the outboard I put the cover on it and I turned it upside down on a piece of carpet so it won't scratch this looks like the easiest way to get this back in back in uh, position here and uh, I want to show you a couple of tips um, well there's that right there in front of in the center of the screen that's the water tube that goes into the water pump housing and water gets pumped up there and then the next hole that you could uh, looks pretty dark down way way down there that's the end of the crankshaft and it's probably hard to see on this camera but I can tell that it's a splined shaft female shaft and that's where the drive shaft goes up in and then right here is the uh, shift shaft it goes in there so uh, to prepare for this, I lubricated that water pump male shaft right there. And I, as I told you earlier, you gotta put an O-ring on the end of this drive shaft right here. And I put it up much higher than it's gonna be once it's installed. The crankshaft is gonna go on that drive shaft and the crankshaft will push that O-ring down just as much as it needs to go down. I've got those splines quite well coated with grease. And then there's the shift shaft and I have it coated with grease as well. Now to make this easy, you want to have that shift shaft lined up in the best angle that it should slide right into the motor and um, I put it in neutral. So the lower end is in neutral. And then I put the shift lever on the outboard in neutral as well. So with any luck, I'll turn these things upside down and they'll just slide right in. Now if you end up with trouble um, getting it to go in, you're probably going to be having trouble getting that water pump tube to go into your water pump housing. So I'll watch for that. And uh, I guess I'll know if I go to start it up once it's uh, got earmuffs on it and if it doesn't pump water pretty quickly, I'll know that uh, to check that tube because maybe I don't have that tube inserted in the hole the right way. So um, I'll try that and then I'll put the uh, bolts back together and I'll carry on with my video. Okay, here we are. We're done. I uh, did just what I described to drop the foot on here and it was actually, there was about this much overlap for the, uh, that tube, the water pump tube. So there was no problem lowering this down and being certain that the water pump tube was going into the water pump housing. You could see it very easily. 
And I lowered it down and there was about a three quarters of an inch gap and I kind of tapped it and wiggled it, wiggled it with my hand and it didn't want to drop down. And all I did was pull the pull cord, um, pull the pull cord a couple of turns and it just, uh, it, it dropped into place. And what that must have been is it must have had to line up the, uh, the, the drive shaft with the crankshaft splines and it just dropped into place and it just, it literally dropped in that tight. So I just put the three bolts in. There's a, there are three eighths head bolts and there's a one single one right here and two right there. Tighten them up and we're all done.